through UK Chat episode 69. Woohoo! 69. 69. We are here and we are back and I'm joined with the lovely, the one and only Emma, aka Lipstick and Trainers. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm here. Well guys, we are back and it has been yet again another full jammed pack week, well full jam packed week, mm-hmm. full of lots going on and on top of that it has been the hottest week of the year. Yeah, it's the so hot. hottest week mm-hmm. of the year and it's been so tough getting out there doing some runs. I've really struggled this mm-hmm. week um, to try and get out. I've been really bad at the moment with getting out like early. I used uh, to get into such mm-hmm. a good habit of it and now I've kind of fallen off. So by the time I've got up and sort myself out, it's still too warm. Yeah, I feel the same. I've every time I've gone out, it's the middle of the day, and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm here again, so I might Literally. as well have just gone out in the middle of the day. I so. know. But you guys have absolutely smashed it, and especially the guys as well. I just have to give a shout out to the guys at um, Dorney on Sunday, because your event started in the middle of that ridiculously hot day, and you absolutely smashed it, so everyone that was there. Big, well done, big, big round of applause for you guys. But yes, so last week we were back at the, no, this week, sorry, no, yeah, this week we were at Clapham, which was really, really nice to get back onto the Clapham for you guys to join us for 5k and 10k. It was also really, really warm, so well done to everybody that joined mm-hmm. us. And then last week, we, no, this week, last weekend, last week. yeah, we were at Dorney for our triathlon in the morning on Sunday and then the run in the afternoon and then we were at the North Park for our 5k and 10k on the Saturday. Which, so it's all been hot, hot, hot. It's been amazing, but you guys have not stopped. And we also, I always need to forget the Northern events. We had our Coventry chase the sun 5k and 10k as well. And we've got some of you guys to shout out on our lovely Wall of Fame. So of course, as mentioned, it's been ridiculously hot. So it is really difficult to try and go out with the focus of getting a PB because I think just finishing the run is something that you guys need to be proud of Mm -hmm. over the last week because it has been crazy. It's been difficult. It really, really has. So we have got a few people on here that, well, all of these guys have achieved so much and some of you guys specifically we picked out because you've done some serious mileage in the sun and feel like you should be rewarded with a little welcome on our Wall of Fame. So, I'm just going to get stuck right into it, and I feel like that's normally Lucy's line. Yeah. I'm just going to get stuck right into it. Mm-hmm. And up here, we have the lovely Katie. Mm-hmm. So, Katie up here is one of our Northern season pass holders, and she has joined, well, she hasn't took part in an event here, but she is one of the lovely, lovely ladies who managed to get her trainers on and go out for a 7K run. And I think she went at around 9 a.m. I think I saw you went out, Katie. Looks um, warm still, very warm. And then she even said it was still, I think you said it was 23 or 24 degrees, which at 9 a.m. for Britain is fantastic. <laughs> but obviously a little bit difficult when you're running. So Katie, well done, absolutely smashed it. And hopefully see you at an event when we come up to the North soon. Well done. Well done. Well done. Great work, especially in the heat. It is hot all day and you got yourself out early. So that's always a good tip for the other runners out there. Next up we have Joseph Ke- Kelly over here. He did his first ever try. That's absolutely insane in that weather as well. I know it was in the morning, but it was still very hot. To do his first ever try in that weather, I know it's a beautiful course. So absolutely massive well done. It's something I've always dreamed and aspired to, to do a try. So fantastic. Yeah, nice work, Joseph. Well done. I really want to do a try. I really want to try a try. Yeah, got to might have to try a Dorney one because it's always really nice there, just not in 33 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, on so on Saturday, we're at the Olympic North Park, and the lovely Gary Ireland joined us for his 10k. He did say that he was set out for a PB, but the weather did make did take the most out of everyone, I think, on that day. So he still came storming home in 46 minutes, which is extremely impressive, and you did put a little emotion on your um, Facebook to say that you're feeling super, super proud. Um, so well Good done stuff. to you and Emma. I know you normally run with Emma, but we haven't got her photo up here today. So well done to you guys. Smash it. Nice. Awesome. Fantastic. Over here, we're moving to T. I see him quite a lot at our events. He smashes his all of his events, but on this one in particular, he's done three consecutive runs, three 10Ks. So this 
in, it, for stars is insane because of the weather as well. He's just gone out and just killed it. He did the two, the three ten k runs last week, and it was just absolutely blazing hot. And he's obviously done a good job. He looks super happy in this picture. So massive well done. We love seeing you at our events, and we just want to again just prove that you know that you know keep if you keep coming, you're just going to keep succeeding. Well done. Good job, T, my man. We also got a photo on Saturday, which was really nice because we don't have any photos together, but we finally <laughs> chipped that away, and we've got one ticked off. So. Yeah, well so next up down here we have the lovely Celine who joined us up at Coventry for our Chase the Sun 5k and 10k event last night. As always, like the last week, it's been super, super warm all over. So to go out and complete your 5k, you were also the first female. So congratulations, Celine. Yes. And I absolutely love this photo. You've actually captured the whole like War Memorial Park as it should. You mm -hmm. know, it looks fantastic. So Celine. First female finisher, well done. Absolutely smashed it in the 5K, good job. Yeah, I, I really love the photo, I love the sunset, I love you know, the war memorial, like, I love it, it's just perfect. So yeah, well done. Moving swiftly on to Holly Elizabeth here, absolutely fantastic picture again. I love the outfit, love the colours, love the fact that you've taken a dip in the pool, or the pool, the lake, obviously. <laughs> big pool, um, very big pool. But uh, yeah, you've taken the dip after your 10k, and it was your first ever 10k in fact. So massive well done. Not only have you done it in the temperatures that we did it today, it looks like you've got a massive smile on your face and you've both, uh, yeah, you look like you've really enjoyed it and you're enjoying your little dip in the lake as well. Cool. So well done. Well done. Good job, Molly. It does look gorgeous. I really mm. want to go swimming. I know, yeah. I'm dying to go swimming. That's exactly what I want to do this week after so every nice. run. I know. <laughs> Right down here, I love this photograph. I love a collage. I just love it when <laughs> people just share different parts of their day or their afternoon or their race and combine it into one so we can really feel like we're there with you. So lovely, lovely Samantha Jones joined us for her first ever race, which is incredible. And I'm absolutely loving. I believe these must be your children or I'm not too sure, maybe family members of some sort, like that does say mummy. Yeah, your children. <laughs> They've got signs up saying mummy, so well done. And I love your sort of before, during, and your after with your medal, and also yeah. the course route as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous. For anybody that doesn't know our Coventry course, it's around the War, War Memorial Park up in Coventry. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a newbie for us as well. I think we've only been there once before. Um, so yeah, if you get the chance to go on up, um, go and take part in it. I'm not sure what our next one is, but it'll be on the card soon, so watch this space. Yeah, it looks like there's well some done, great pictures well there. Done. So, well done, massive well done. Um, moving over to Mark Wedlake, we see him quite a lot on the Facebook chat, he's always putting in the miles. So here he has, he's done 10 miles out on his run, I know he's training a lot at the moment and he's, you know, putting in the miles, putting in the work and he's succeeding every time. Beautiful sunny day again, it looks like it's super hot. So again, 10 miles, it's quite some mileage there, so massive well done for getting out, doing your training, and just doing a good job all the time. Yeah, well done, Mark. Mark. Well done. And last but not least, on our lovely wall of fame, he's just on the outside here, because we just couldn't quite fit him in, because we've got so much to look forward to and celebrate today. So over here we have the lovely Mick Miles, who did join us for an event, um, but he did tackle, which you can just see from the blue sky, that was an absolute scorcher, and he went out and did a half marathon. And I just needed to share that because it's very impressive. I love the fact you've got your hydration pack on, you're all good to go, you're being very safe. So I looked like a really, really, really lovely course as well. So good job for you. And I'm pretty sure you, sh you said there was no shade, which is brutal, I can actually feel it now. So Nick, well done. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing more of your posts soon. Good job. Well done, Nick. So of course, well done to everyone on board. You've absolutely smashed it the last week um, in what has been very, very, very tough conditions for you all. Um, but you've all been killing it and clearly the work just does not stop you. I don't think anything stops you guys. Um, but yeah, no, so this weekend we are back with another jam-packed weekend. So on Saturday, of course, we've got the medals to show. We are back at Newbury Racecourse, and here is the gorgeous medal for you guys to see. So if you're gonna be there on Saturday, we've got 5K, 10K, and half marathon for you guys. 
this is the medal that you'll be getting. So good luck. Can't wait to see you. I'll be there, so make sure you come and say hello if you want a nice photograph or anything. And then on Sunday, we're rushing to Bedford Autodrome for our next Running Grand Prix series. Um, and here is the gorgeous medal, of course. We have lots of distance for this, and I always try and remember them. 5K, 10K, half marathon, 20 mile, 16 mile, and marathon as well. Um, so there's lots up for grabs, and this is still available um, for you to buy if you want to come join us. Um, and of course, whichever distance you do, your medal will be the same as that. So yeah, I will also be there on Sunday. I've never been to Bedford, so I'm excited to be there. Um, so I do come and say hello if you're joining. Um, so yeah, very, very busy yeah. weekend for you guys. Um, but so do let us know. Yeah, let us know how you get on. Um, and spanking new medal there as well, I see. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. It's not even out of the packet yet. So yeah, no. awesome. So, last but not least, we're going to finish off with a quote, as we always do. I picked this one in particular uh, just because it, I feel like it resonated with a lot of people who were talking about their training this week. So, we've got, you can't start the next chapter if you keep rereading your last. So, if you have a little look at this one, um, you could take this in any way, shape or form. However, I saw that this one, a lot of people had, had complained about some of their runs, or maybe they didn't go so well. Um, and they were getting quite upset about these training runs when really this is all a part of the next chapter. So instead of holding back and, and thinking, oh, this run was really bad, um, I don't know how I'm gonna move forward from this, know that there's gonna be that other chapter that you're only gonna progress from. So don't hold on to those bad runs, always move forward for those good runs. And also, again, in general, it's, you know, instead of like feeling and thinking about this one moment, there's always other runs out there that could be so much better as well. That's how I saw it anyway. I'm not too sure. I love it. That. No, I absolutely love it. And tell you what I also love. I can't help but stop looking at your nails. <laughs> I love <They're> fresh them. nails. <laughs> no, I couldn't have put that more perfectly myself. You can't start the next chapter if you keep re-reading the last. Mm -hmm. So if any of that relates to you guys at any point, in your general life, in your sporting life, mm -hmm. take that on board. You cannot start the next chapter if you keep rereading the last. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to go backwards, we just want to keep on rolling, going forward. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. Ooh. Is that the word right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that was lovely, Red. And we, that rounds us up for episode 69 Ooh. here at Run Through HQ. But we will be back next week where we can celebrate what you guys have been getting up to, whether you've been running in the heat or running in the storm that is due to happen. Um, I did see a little debate from Manil on the Facebook chat page um, earlier about if you'd run in a storm, would you? I probably would give it a go. Yeah. yeah. So just don't run near trees, I think, the overall um, the situation was for that. Just one. to keep aware. I yeah. think it's probably best to have no music on to go out and just yeah. see what it's all about. I don't really want to go away from a tree for them. No, it's not really fun. nice. <laughs> but yeah, next week we'll be back where we can celebrate all your runs at Newbury Racecourse and also at Bedford Autodrome. And hopefully we can get all of your faces up here and start celebrating some more runs. Yeah, so, and so then we will see you next week. Bye! Bye.